Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Dr. Mundar. Today, inshallah, I'll explain the AS encryption. So let's assume that we have this text, which is uh, basically is 128 bits of hexadecimal values. And it's contained four words. Each word actually is four bytes. As you can see that each one has different colors. And we have this key. We assume that we have this key, which is actually same length, 128 bits. And let's assume that we have 10 rounds. And the same thing that the bits, uh, the key is also uh, contain four words. Um, that means 128 bit. So um, about the steps, okay, this, this bring up uh, the uh, steps. Uh, as you can see that the steps in the uh, AS description is include. First of all, we have to get the uh, state matrix. How we get the state matrix? Uh, the state matrix is basically we're gonna take the uh, input text and put it into the matrix. So um, let's take that. We're gonna take uh, word zero and put it here, and then we have word one, and also put it right here. Uh, this is word one, and then word two, and then here word. Well, where do you get this one? We get it from here. So I'm going to copy this one and put it right here. So 32 and 43 and we have also F6 and the last one is what is a uh, 8. Okay, and then we continue the same thing until you finish the matrix. So this is the in the state matrix. Okay, uh, we need to get the key as well. The key is the same way. We have to put it into the matrix. So this is the cipher key. We're gonna put it into the matrix in the same way that we did with the uh, with the uh, with the text. So here we will have uh, word zero, and then here we will have word one, and then we'll have word two right here, and then word three will be right here in a column way. So here we will have 2B, and then we will have down here 7E, uh, sorry, 7E, and then down here, which is this one, okay, 15 and 16. So we have 15 and 16, and you continue the same way. So this is the key, cipher key, and this is the text. We have to start with the initial um, initial uh, round we the initial round it just contain one operation it's called what add round keys contain one operation it's called what add round key the add round is write it here add round key which is what only one single operation it's called add round key Key. Uh, so the add round key basically is going to take this matrix and XOR it with the uh, key matrix. Let's write it down. So this is the text matrix here. I'm going to XOR it with the cipher key here and see the output. How do I do the XOR? I take the first one here and XOR it with the uh, 2B88, XOR it with 28 and 31 with a b and e0 with 9 and so on with the rest of one how do we do the xor i'll give you an example they have to convert it into a uh, binary so the simplest way is what today we have 32 for example and we need to xor it with what we need to xor it with 2b so i have to convert it into a binary so the 32 will be what 32 and here we have the um uh, two yeah. 32 will be three will be zero zero one one and the two will be zero zero one zero and uh, the two b will be zero um will be zero zero one zero and the b actually is one zero one one uh, so just mix all them together and see the result from them so result will be here uh, zero uh, zero and will be zero and then one and then actually one and then zero we have zero as well and then we have zero also and then here we have one so the output will be actually one nine one and nine so the output will be here 19 and you do also the xor uh, for all the rest of, uh, of this 43 with 7e convert them into binary and put the result right here and you continue the same way now this is the output uh, uh, for the whole XOR um, now uh, the output is just a matrix 
Now we have to start the first round after that. The first round will contain four operation, which is shift row, mix column, and round key. So I'm gonna start with the round one. Let's just uh, make this uh, different color so we can see that this is called what? This is called the uh, initial round, which is that. Now we'll start with the um, first round. Uh, first round contains some operation. This operation uh, will start with the first operation is called subbyte. So let's write here uh, sub byte, which is the first operation sub bytes. Sub bytes is very easy. I'm gonna take the output from the initial uh, round right here and try to uh, go to the matrix. The matrix is basically similar to the one used in the DES, except that what? Except that this matrix is is basically. Um, just using hexadecimal so this is the matrix I'm just gonna have to put it right here so we can see it all together so the output from the matrix I'm gonna put it right here let's see how we do the sub byte very simple and easy we go to uh, this one for example row number one so this is 19 19 is goes into what? 19 goes to what goes into a column and a row uh, and uh, column so the column and the row is equal to what the row will be equal to uh, one and the column will be equal to nine go to row number one and column number nine and the intersection between them is actually d4 so the intersection will be what will be here d so you're gonna put d4 here the same thing you will do the same thing for the others the second operation in the round is basically called what is called i'm gonna put this one here the second uh, is called shift row shift you take the first row it will be the same without any change so you put the first row is without any change exactly the same thing and then go to the second row the second row you have to do one shift okay in the second row you have to do what you have to do one shift in the second row you have to do one shift uh, that's very easy answer but how do you one shift you go and take the 27 and you put it at the end right here so the 27 will become here and then you copy the rest uh, of them and it will be coming in the front right here so it's only moving the 27 to the uh, beginning of the cell if you talk about the second row second row we have two shifts is actually so two shifts means what the 11 and 98 will be going right here and uh, the rest of them 5d and 52 is going to be at the beginning right here so what we did actually we took the 11 first and put it at the beginning and then we took the 98 after that and that will shift the 5d and 52 to uh, position and the last one actually we have to do what we have to do three shifts and that is very simple and easy we take these three right here okay and this one is the beginning one will be the last one so now if, if you want to make it very simple it's just uh, pushing that one to the end so basically you just take these three and put them to the end and then take the other one and put it at the beginning so basically just go and put the ae in right here ae just put it at the end and that will make it three shift so this is the output from the row shift and uh, this is very simple and easy straightforward matrix um, just the first one without shift and first one one shift two shift and then three shift and the second uh, third operation is called actually mix columns uh, mix columns the mix columns is actually need more attention so i'm going to take this output matrix from the previous uh, operation and i'm going to multiply it with a matrix you're going to remember this matrix it's very easy to remember okay the matrix basically is called rindal matrix and it start with what it start with two remember the first column and then one one and three now what's the second column you're going to push that down so the two will become right here two and then one one and the three will goes what into the front and after that you push them more so it will become three two one and the one goes into the beginning it's easy way to remember it and then you push them a little bit so it'll become one 
one three and two it's an easy way to remember this matrix now how i'm going to multiply this matrix with uh, uh with the with the output from the shift rows very simple and easy so first of all i have to take this one and multiply it with the matrix and then multiply this one with what with the uh Vindel matrix and this matrix i'm gonna put it right here so you can see it so how we do multiply that uh, so the first one is equal to what the, the first one in the column here uh, let's find the, this one this value first so you have when you multiply this one with this matrix you will get what you will get actually the first column the first column in the uh, in the array okay in the output array so let's find out this value here and then after that you can find the other one how do we find this this value actually is equal to what uh, it's equal d4 uh, multiplied by 2 so i'm gonna multiply 4 by 2 plus okay that uh, let's make it a little bit distance here uh, so we can see it plus what plus the uh the second one sorry um the plus is gonna be like this okay so this is the plus plus what plus b4 multiplied by three so i'm gonna say b uh f sorry bf multiplied by three and then after that we have to say what plus what uh plus um sorry and 5d 5d multiplied uh, by what by one plus the last one which is f1 multiplied by one so basically i multiply this one by the first row okay first one here i'm going to just color it with the first row and we have the add between them so the last one i said does that f1 multiplied uh, so multiplied by what by one it's very simple and easy so let's take the first one the first one is actually i have to convert it into binary so the first one will be what will be equal to actually d is uh, one one zero one this is the d and the four actually is zero one zero zero so multiply it by two and this one then this one plus this one which is the b uh, let's take this one find out this one when you multiply by two basically you look at the last digit the last digit is what is one so i have to remove the last digit okay and which is one and put zero at the beginning this is what when you multiply by two okay so basically this one will become one and then zero one zero one zero zero and then i have to add zero okay so what i did again i just removed this one from here and i put zero at the beginning okay so this one i remove one and put zero at the beginning because it's a start with one okay there's a rule here if it's a start if uh first digit is zero then you just remove what remove the last digit digit okay and put zero uh at the beginning okay at the beginning if one if, uh, if, it, if it is one the last digit is one okay we're gonna remove it anyway so we do the same step here plus extra step what's the extra step we an x or with one b so this one here is start actually with one so i did remove the one and i put zero so i have to XOR it with what i have to XOR it with one b with one b one b is equal to what actually one b is equal to uh zero 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 one and then uh it is what b it'll be actually is one zero one um one uh zero one one this is the b so i'll add one so this is the output from the first one this is the output from the first one i'm just gonna color it in different color uh let's take the second one the second one is a little bit so the three is basically is equal to what bf multiplied by three is basically equal to bf uh bf multiplied by three 
uh, sorry, 2 plus 1. It's very, this one will be equal to, um, you can say, it, BF multiplied by 2 plus, okay, BF uh, multiplied, same thing, BF multiplied by 1. So let's multiply BF by 2. I have to convert it into a binary. First of all, let's convert it into a binary. Uh, so the BF will be equal to the B is 1, 0, 1, 1, and the F will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So when you multiply this by 2, basically it will give you as what? It will give you, I have to look at the last digit, B plus, okay plus the same one which is uh, one zero one one and then one two three four um multiply uh, multiplied by one um so basically it is like this okay let's uh, show them all together now let's take this one the first one i multiply now by two when i multiply by two i look at the last digit is it one yes one so i have to apply this rule I have two things to do. First of all, I have to remove the one. So I remove the one from there. I have to remove the one. So this one will become what? Will become uh, zero, one, 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 one. Uh, and then I have, how many one do we have? One, two, six, okay? Four, I have six ones. And then I have to add zero at the beginning okay so what I did I removed the one and add zero at the beginning so this one plus and I have to XOR it with what I have to XOR it with so this one has to be XOR with 1B it's all with 1B plus the same thing this one when you multiply uh, let's let's finish this one okay plus uh, the same one I'm gonna keep it which is one zero one one and then one 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 multiplied by one so this one when you XOR it with one b one so the output will be what the output will be actually zero one one i'm gonna put this way so the zero will not be gone zero one one then we have zero zero one zero one this one plus actually what plus if we multiply anything by one it will be the same exactly so this number here will be the same will be the same exactly so this one is a plus actually what plus one zero one 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 okay now there's no plus in the binary so i have to do xor between them so i have to xor this one with this number uh, right here. so this is the output from the second one just color it i need this to know this okay now before we go on okay the first two let's find the second one the second one i have to convert it into a binary okay now the binary will be what with 5d so the 5d will be 0 1 0 1 and the D will be what will be one one uh, zero one okay so the D is that and this is multiplied by what by one if you multiply anything by one it will be the same exactly without any differences so this number will come up uh, zero one same thing as without any change and then one one zero one the same thing okay uh, this is without the multiplication this is the output so I need to shadow this one with a color let's make it a uh, different color and uh, same thing here when we convert the F1 uh, into a binary so it will be one two three four and then the one will be zero 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 one and you multiply it by one it will be the same number exactly without any change okay it will be the same number exactly without any change so one 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 and then you have one, one zero and then one uh, this is the output so let's color it with the same uh, color as this one so what i'm gonna do is take these two okay these two this one and this one xor them because we don't have a plus in the binary so i have to take uh, and have to xor them so i need to take this one okay copy this one and xor it with the second one 
explore it with this one uh, right here okay and take these two also and export them together right here so I'm gonna export them together um, exactly uh, see the output so the output from this and uh, XOR from these two will be uh, so this is the output from this one I'm gonna take this copy and XOR them together okay in a very simple way the output from all these things so this output make it um, in a different way uh, let's make it red and even this one together so gonna take them here and XOR them together okay so copy and put it next to this, uh, this one and this one I already copied this one and put it right here so the output from these two will be actually so gonna be C it's gonna be C file okay we have a mistake here let's go back a little bit because here when we did the shift uh, yeah, this is the mistake actually it's supposed to be this one supposed to be 30 right here and the rest will be there so um yeah this is a little bit of mess so it's supposed to be um here and this is supposed to be right here i think we have a mistake and the three the copy and this one's supposed to be right here so we have a mistake with the first one okay and when we do the mix column actually we have a mistake so last one is three zero um and ae and this one's supposed to be f1 so uh, instead of f1 uh, here we have three zero actually instead of f1 we have three zero and to implement the three zero multiplied by one is actually going to be zero zero one one and then we have zero zero uh, zero zero and the output will be the same all from multiplied by one so it's gonna be zero zero and then we have one one and then one zero 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 so this is the output we have a mistake right here now we have to copy this one and try to XOR it with this one here and see the output from the XOR again uh, so the output here will be sorry zero and um, zero one one and then zero and then we have one one zero one so this is the output from this one um, copy it and XOR it with this one here so let's see if there's a difference here i'm gonna have to because c flight is not correct uh so this one will be zero 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 okay and then we'll have zero and then one zero zero yes so this one's supposed to be now zero four so it's going to be zero uh four uh, so this one is supposed to be sorry zero uh, four and uh, and you continue the same way to find out the next one so then we multiply this one with what <coughs> we multiply this one with the first one to get this one okay uh, we can multiply the same thing with the second row okay and give it a different one to get what to get this value and we multiply with the third row okay and to get what to get the third value and the last row also multiply to the same column okay to get the last value column so we finish with the first column all right and then we take the second column from the original matrix so we did the d4 bf5 d30 this one so we take this column okay copy and we do the same that what we did for the first one and we have to multiply it with this matrix okay to get what to get the second column to get the second column and after you finish you take the third one okay and you multiply it 
with the same matrix okay to get what the third column and then after that the last column is 1e2798 you take it okay and you multiply it with what with the same matrix to get what to get the last column so in the last column you will get what you'll get four column okay so this is column number one let's say c1 and this is c2 you get here c2 and this is c3 okay and this is what c4 so the output after multiplying all of them together okay this is not four that the output matrix after multiplying all of them together and the result what matrix okay all the result from the matrix will be this matrix actually um, the matrix is, is um, the operation is a little bit complex but it is the, you have to understand how does it work actually okay so this is the output matrix and then this is the the, the last the last step from the algorithm is what is add round key so we have to do the add round key so we have to take this matrix and do what the fourth one is called add round key now we have to take this matrix okay and XOR it with the key you have to take this matrix and XOR okay XOR with what with the key now the key is not actually this key that we have the key is called key K0 uh, because it's round K1 because it starts with round 1 all is called K0 because the original mark is not counted now this is uh, this is not the same key as this one okay it is uh, will be generated from this one using the algorithm that uh, called uh, key expansion as key expansion 